Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the adventures of Arendil. We are here at the Winterhold Mages Guild, or the College of Winterhold, if you will. And oh, hello there, lady. We are prepared to proceed to the Labyrinthian to seek the second piece of the Staff of Chaos. We've stocked up on potions, repaired all our items, and we've even picked up an additional dagger, a Dwarven Dagger of Strength. So we'll be holding on to that, as well as our Steel Dagger of Agility, and our Elven Dagger, which is our backup in case the other two break. So let's go ahead and... check out this fascinating place called the Labyrinthian. Stubborn grass and roots stand in the stiff arctic climb, refusing to yield. Ahead of you stands the entrance to the Labyrinthian, testing ground of the Archmagus Shalador. Within its twisted paths lies the second piece of the Staff of Chaos. Today is the 16th of Sun's Dawn, a holiday celebrated all over Tamriel as Heart's Day. It seems that in every house the legend of the lovers is being sung for the younger generation. In honor of these lovers, Polidor and Aloisa, the inns of the village offer a free room for visitors. If such kindness have been given the lovers, it is said, it would always be springtime in the world. Well, that was interesting. I guess that goes to show that the flavor texts for holidays and so forth, that they will show up even when you're going to a dungeon. I didn't realize that they'll show up for any location, basically. Proceed along the center path first, for the clues to solving the secrets of the Labyrinthian await there. Very well. Let's just see what we have here. Scratched in the ground here is the word Door 2. Okay. Scratch in the ground here is the word door one. So we'll proceed down the middle for now. This is the tale of two brothers who sought the secret of life. They ventured into this labyrinthian, weary from war and strife. The first was Canaan the Elder, a strong and cunning man. He quested for riches and jewels, yet found fate had other plans. The second was Mogris the Dim, and few knew what he was worth. They saw only the lumbering giant, not the child who was blessed at birth. The few they told of their plans begged them to desist at their feet. But the brothers would test this puzzle of the North, for till then they had known no defeat. This is the tale of two brothers who failed the secret of life, forever held by two riddles which lead to the prize and a wit as cunning and sharp as a knife. Wow. Very interesting. Now we are in territory that is new for me. Last time, when we completed the Fortress of Ice, we went beyond where I have ever gone before in terms of the main quest in this game. So this is all new to me. Mogris the Din, though he's a boar, holds the only key that unlocks this door. To find the riddle, you must first find the sun. Start your fateful search behind door number one. Okay. Interesting. This is a magically held lock. I wonder... Will there be any adverse effects if I attempt to open it with magic? Failure. Well, that could be just because it's very difficult to open with magic, but more likely it's impossible. 
not with any magic I know. Perhaps one at the level of the Archmagus Shalador could open it. So there's nothing down here but a brazier. Interesting structure here. Now I imagine I might be able to use Passwall to get through some of this stuff. But for now, I think it's more fun to kind of proceed along what seems to be the intended paths set out by perhaps Shalador himself. I don't think he created all of the original structures of this place, but most of this that I'm seeing today is probably from him. You know, the actual labyrinth itself, I believe, was due to Shalador. If you look up some of the lore about the Labyrinthian, I do believe it was originally the site of an ancient city, or at least a town or village, something like that. So there were some original structures, but uh, Shalador expanded upon them greatly. And presumably, all of these magically held locks, and all these riddles and so forth, for all of his devising. There might be some great dangers ahead. So Eirendil will need all of his wit and cunning, and all of his strength, <laughs> all of all of his attributes, basically. Spider. So now we're trying out our Dwarven Dagger of Strength for the first time. So it will deal more damage since we have boosted strength, and it's a better material than our other daggers as well. Let's double check that we are indeed still shielded. Let's get a little more light. So far we're not seeing any secret doors. Spider. I think having that bonus strength is nice. Our agility is already very high thanks to the Agma Infinium, so we don't need that extra boost to agility as much as we used to. So I'm pretty happy using this dagger, but if we ever need to switch, well, that'll be fine. They're both good in different ways. Extra agility, of course, increases your chance to hit and your chance to not be hit. But with this, we have extra damage every time we hit, and again, our agility is already so high that it's not too much of a concern, whereas our strength is still a bit low by default. Atrakop, old Tom Naughty, to use the insults applied by Bilbo Baggins to the spiders in that classic short novel, The Hobbit. Oh, 
Okay, very interesting. Hmm. Okay, so that looks like a place we want to go. Now, I'm not sure I recall seeing that door. Skeletons. Three of them. Let's go ahead and cast some... Oh. Maybe Fire Blast. Nice. That worked very well. I should mention I also have an extra belt, a belt of intelligence, in addition to a belt of agility. But in that case, for now, I decided I probably am content to just have the extra bonuses from extra agility for now. Um, it is a bit tempting to go with the extra spell points that I get from boosted intelligence, however, so I might shift to that in the near future. Sixty-three gold pieces on that spider. Okay, let's loop back around and check out this spot.
interesting. I guess I just hadn't really paid too much attention to this corner before. So we probably want to go down. To the domain of Mogris. Yes, indeed. Let's go ahead and cast a fresh shield spell. Not a spell points, okay. Well, we'll hold off on that. Let's rest up. Cannot rest at the moment. Save here. You stand before the halls of Mogris. Many spiders in this place. That's fine with me, they're pretty easy to kill at this point, and Arendil does not need to fear their paralyzing bite. game performance in here is a little bit slower than what I'm used to, but hey, that just happens sometimes depending on how much stuff is going on. There are lots of little interesting passageways in this place. That might have hit the wall.
can drop that helm. And the new belt we got doesn't interest us too much. Okay. to see a treasure chest. Open with magic. It does take a lot of spell points though, unfortunately. All right. Hearing some kind of lumbering beast. I can't quite recall. Could that be the sound of an orc? No. Oh my. This is bad. We got it. A hellhound. That's something we haven't seen too often so far. What is the point of all this, I wonder? What was Shalador getting at, creating all this and telling this elaborate tale of those two brothers? I wonder how much of that tale is factual or might just be allegorical, instructive in one way or another. A ghost. I think I'll avoid that specter for now. Erendil is not enjoying this heat. Huh? That's interesting. Okay. We didn't seem to be seeing that lava when we were back over there, perhaps because it's underneath the rock walls. There seems to be a door back there. 
you might be able to go around this side. Not that we even necessarily want to go there, but it could be something of interest. Platforms above, tunnels below. This is going to be an interesting place. The performance gets much better down here in the tunnels, that's interesting. Ah, we have a cave troll. Double check something in my spell book. Is it more expensive for me to do a ranged fireball or to do an area of effect fire blast? 21 for the fire blast. Twenty-three for the ranged. Interesting. Okay. So the Fire Blast is a bit cheaper. But I might need to be at his level for that to be effective. So let's try the ranged one. Hopefully I can aim that effectively from here. Ah, maybe not. Shoot. Uh, probably not. Okay. Can't remember if there's a way to cancel a spell. Okay, I don't think that worked. Easy little troll. I'm coming. Erendil does not fear you. Might be able to do the fire touch spell from here. Yep. Got him. Gained a level of experience. Only three points. Ooh, that's disappointing. Can put a few of those into intelligence. Well, let's consider how long ago did I last save? Oh, I suppose it's not worth going back. I don't really need to absolutely min max my character, especially not after getting the Augment Infidium. I don't think I need to worry about that. So let's go ahead and accept a less than ideal fate now and then. We don't always need to have the best luck. What are we up to now? Level 13, okay. Huh? Whoa. 
just normal wolves. Ah, a goblin. There's a face I haven't seen in a while. Fully rested. Let's cast a fresh Arcane Shield 3. Rest again. Another treasure chest. I'll try to simply use my lock picking skills. There we go. some pass wall. Or in my case, I think I... My custom spell is just called destroy wall. <laughs> All right. There we go.
we go. My first face-off against a ghost, if memory serves. Luckily, dwarven material can harm them. Or perhaps any enchanted item can. I don't remember if that's the case in Arena, or if that's more of something that started with either Daggerfall or Morrowind. No corpse left behind, which makes sense. But in some games you might expect some protoplasm or something like that. Not in this one. Ah, another one. I wonder if they're weak to fire or anything like that. Goodbye. Nice, we have an enchanted plate helm. belt of willpower as well, and an extra belt of agility. A torque of willpower. So let's see, currently we have 80 willpower, magic defense plus 6. So if we equip that, we'll be all the way up. Magic defense plus 10, 100 willpower. That's quite nice. Now that will decrease our physical defenses, but we'll try that out for a little while, see if we're okay with that. I might decide to shift to my Steel Dagger of Agility to provide a little more defense in the near future, we'll see. shielded, we don't need to worry too much about our armor rating. Hellhound. Back to the abyss. Oh my. <laughs> that was embarrassing. Hey, Arendil took a bit of a tumble off a cliff. Go back. Go back to the shadow.
it seems I don't have too much to fear from those ghosts. So I'm thinking I might go ahead and check out this lava, lava filled area that I had noticed before. If we ever want to safely pass over the lava, we can just use a levitation spell. That's something I haven't played around with much yet. Might be useful here. But first things first. I'm gonna check around this corner. Uh oh, what's that? Extra willpower and magic defense will uh, definitely come in handy when coming across hellhounds and other such creatures and so forth. So far, their fire spells haven't seemed to affect haven't seemed to have affected me too much. Well, and it should be said, I'm not sure if that's meant to be like a spell or more of a fire breath effect, but. Either way, I think it's the same. All right, let's go back to that lava-filled room. That looked interesting. Let's go ahead and levitate. There 
There we go. <laughs> it's causing some delay there because every now and then we're bouncing against the ceiling on this high platform. <laughs> so levitation in this game does have some kind of funny quirks. Uh, so yeah, levitating here in this tight passage is a little bit annoying, but oh well. And we might not be able to rest. Oh yeah, we can. That'll get rid of the uh, levitating effect. Love the menacing red eyes of these specters. They did a good job with the shadowy bodies, too. Wow. Quite the storeroom here. Just mark it as, uh, oh, just treasure. Very significant treasure stockpile. It'd be a miracle if I picked this lock. Well, let's try. This might be the most difficult. Oh, there we go. It might be the most difficult one that Arendel had ever attempted, and he managed to get it. Again, the uh, boosted intelligence from the Ogma Amphidium definitely helps in situations like this. So yeah, that's all there is here in this corner. That's pretty cool. Fun little place to explore. A little more levitation to get us across once again. Might as well fill out our map by going to each of these corners. I don't recall if going into lava kills you immediately or if it just hurts you a little bit over time. It almost seems like we could swim underneath the walls there if we could survive that. Actually, for that matter, I seem to recall that resistance to fire might allow you to swim in lava in this game. So, let's experiment with that. Yep, sure enough. Well, there's nothing special to be found over here, it seems, but still, this is cool. Now, at this point, Arendel's enjoying this, just like it's a nice... A nice hot tub. A nice hot bath. Better not 
stick around too long, though. Okay. I do believe we hear a ghoul. Ghouls I don't like too much because though we're immune to paralysis, we are not immune to diseases. Then again, we don't need to worry about that too much at this point either. There he is. took care of one of them. Dang it, my attempt at a running jump did not work out. Got it. And we're kind of stuck. There we go.
closed. Swipe an Annie. Again, but managed to jump out. We also have an ebony belt now, but we don't need that. And a torque of agility. That's a bit tempting, but I think for now we'll stick with the torque of willpower. That extra magic defense might be more important to us. Again, our agility is already at 85, so we're doing well. Try to jump over. That did not work. And let's cast a fire blast. That got him, but it sounds like we hear one more somewhere nearby. There he is. Oops, it's not what I meant to cast, but that's okay, we'll go get closer. Didn't do the trick. Maybe I wasn't close enough. There we go.
this Dwemer dagger is serving me well. Enchanted dagger. I wonder, wonder what enchantment that might have, as well as this long sword. If I tried to equip it, I might see the effects. Let's go ahead and risk that. <laughs> well, I say risk. I don't think there's actually any cursed items in this game, thankfully. Didn't notice anything obvious in terms of changes there. So anyway, we'll find out later. Get that identified. In due time. Many interesting possibilities as far as places to explore, paths to take, higher and lower paths.
hands. We have a bracelet of speed as well as a bracelet of intelligence. Our endurance is already up to 95, so yes, let's go ahead and drop the, well not drop, but unequip the bracelet of endurance. And we will go with the bracelet of intelligence, bringing our spell points up to 186. Fire blast of those ghouls. Very nice. We are still shielded and healthy. I think they might be weak to lightning, I don't remember for sure, but let's go ahead and try a shock spell. Hmm. Can't quite tell if that hurt him much. Don't want to waste my weapons too much against this guy. So let's just cast that again. Thank you. 
These guys are a little bit funny looking, but not too bad. Okay, I don't like the idea of wasting too much of my dagger's durability against this guy, so let's go ahead and just go invisible. Get out of here. I need to do some research on the weaknesses of different golems later. See you later, golem. So we're back to where we first entered this level. This time we'll go through here and go south. Silver longsword, that's kind of cool, but not enchanted, we don't need it. Gotcha.
inventory is getting quite full, unfortunately. So I might get rid of a few less important things. So I might switch out a couple things. I might go with, instead of the Belt of Agility and the Torque of Willpower, I might switch those up where Torque of Agility and the Belt of Willpower. Not bad. Okay, I like that a lot. Sometimes these doors are rather stubborn in this place. There we go. Minotaur we've seen here. A pair of them. Minotaurs are certainly appropriate for a labyrinth. This enchanted dagger seems to be of normal materials, base damage only 1 to 6. The dwarven dagger has a base damage of 3 to 8. That's nice. been there.
imagine you could get up to a lot of shenanigans in this place, destroying not only walls, but floors, and kind of messing up the whole labyrinth. <laughs> Well, let's see. I think I want to do a little bit of exploring here, but I might take the lower path. Arcane Shield level 3 up and fully rested. Hmm. We've already been here, of course, now we're going under that interesting bridge. <laughs> Go that way. I think at this point, the only areas that don't seem to be pretty fully explored would be right here. Maybe some tunnels over here. This little spot, perhaps. For the most part, the rest of this has been pretty thoroughly explored. You know, maybe not that tunnel right there, but that probably doesn't matter. So... I guess I might as well go up this way, out and around that way, and kind of see what there is to see. Guessing what I'm really looking for here is a treasure chest that has a key. I could be wrong about that, but in, in any case, it's some method for opening a door. Probably just a key.
some existing fire again. I think there might be something of interest around here somewhere. That kind of seems to connect, but maybe I need to destroy the wall. Oh no, here we go. Nice. Nice warm swim. I wonder if there's something special right over here. No key, but still some good treasure.
I am Brother Mogris, the shade of this hall. Cursed to its lengths from beginning to end, find me the answer and a door will I call. Fail me but once and your heart will I rend. More beautiful than the face of your god, yet more wicked than a demon's forked tongue. Dead men eat it all the time. Live men who eat it die slow. What is the answer, mortal? Okay, this is interesting. Ah. Uh, I've got the answer. If you need a little more time, feel free to pause the video. But if you think about it, the answer must be nothing. I have been a fool, perhaps a mad wizard's tool, yet after untold ages I am at last free. In the cell next to this lies your reward, the diamond key. Okay. Very interesting. Now... Can I open this? Do I want to open this? Maybe I'm not meant to? I'm not sure. see him back there. So apparently those two brothers who were named were indeed real people. Now I'm imprisoned here forever as shades. Ah, oh, there it is. What a sad fate for those two men. Come on. Sometimes picking up a key is the hardest part of this game. side. So I can't click down there. Is this another curse of Shalador? Arch Magus of trickery and shenanigans. Oh, come on. Goodness. You have found a diamond key, finally. So there it is. Got a nice little symbol for it up there. Those poor Nords. Well now. Let's resist fire, go for another swim. go back. I am still curious about that cell where the shade of that poor Nord is located. I really want to see, can I open it with a spell, perhaps? Shellador has probably made it impossible, but I must investigate a little bit further.
Oh, that worked. Or was that actually just opening it with the key? I better load and double check that. Nope, I can't open it. So yeah, it has nothing to do with a diamond key. Do not fight me, poor Shade. I know you've had a tough life, or a tough afterlife. Now you are at rest. Or so I hope. Okay. Well, I think that was a good deed, probably. I must say, hanging out here feels a bit unsettling. What if we were to become pawns in Shalador's ongoing shenanigans? Probably pointless, unfortunately. Or is it? What if I levitate? Well, I still can't take advantage of whatever this is next to me. It might be a raised passageway, but inaccessible from here. Hmm. Let's do some more shenanigans. Destroy some walls. ever imprisoned here, hopefully now they can easily escape. Although destroy wall tends to be temporary. Feels very dangerous resting here. Enemies nearby. at times like this when I really wish I had mark and recall spells in this game. Or in the case of Daggerfall, just the recall spell. It would be nice. In any case, here's some more treasure.
let's go ahead, go back to that stairwell. And open up that door we couldn't open before. So we'll be then, we'll be met with yet another locked door and told to go to door number two near the beginning of this place. Now, let me see, might as well do some pass ball and just cut through some of this. Eh, actually, I can just go around this way. if I destroy this wall here. I can. Maybe I can't. It won't let me. Maybe this one. Looks like we're seeing this stairwell from another angle, and we can still access it this way. That's nice. Okay. Let's go ahead and rest up again. A troll is nearby. Hello, troll. Come on. There we go. Everything is very slow right now. Let's proceed. Okay. So we're back here. Interesting. I think <laughs> I think it had us exit in a different direction. So we, because we entered the stairwell from an unusual direction, we've also exited from an unusual direction, and we are kind of stuck in a wall. This is beautiful. <laughs> okay, Shalador, we are enjoying this. Now, can our magic get us out of this predicament?
destroy wall might destroy whatever's right in front of us. Maybe not. Hmm. What if I simply try to jump? Let's look at what direction we might want to face. done it. Maybe, maybe not. Not quite. We're just back in this state now. It can still look weird, just to kind of weird. We can still attack this spider. Very interesting. jump forward here isn't doing much good. Destroy wall, failure. Oop, I destroyed a wall way over there. Okay. this strange place. Interesting. So it kind of seems to be taking us back and forth between the lower level and the higher. So if I jump, jump here, then suddenly I'm back here, and what can I do? Destroy floor. Here. Now I'm back here. Okay, I will probably have to resort to loading a save here pretty soon. But this is kind of cool. I remember where I just saved. <laughs> so this is a bit risky. So I'm gonna do a new save just just in case. Way down here. And let's do some loading. So I was here. Actually, let's see, what if I load this one again? 
Huh? Not too shabby, okay. Seems to have brought me right back here, that's nice. So it got me unstuck out of the wall just by saving and loading. Not bad, game. That's actually fairly impressive. I was not expecting that to work. Okay, now we're in good shape. Moving forward. Out to the domain of Mogris. Three baked spiders. Interesting dungeon design here. Just go back around to those three main doors. Mark this as Mogris. I think that was his name. So first, let's go through this central door. Hmm. 
as we should be able to open the door straight ahead of us now. Mogris the Din, though he's a boar, holds the only key that unlocks this door. To find the riddle, you must first find the sun. Start your faithful search behind door number one. Well, we've done that, and now we hold aloft the diamond key, place it inside the lock. You open door with the diamond key. All right. More spiders. That's our reward. Canaan the wise holds more to be seen, a key and a riddle and a test in between. To get past this portal, a feat done by few, search for the brother behind door number two. Beautiful. Okay. Canaan the wise, eh? Well, hopefully, Mogris the Din is now resting in peace, and perhaps Canaan the wise soon shall be as well. Okay, so we can kind of see what's inside there. Presumably, the second piece of the Staff of Chaos might be right inside there. We'll go ahead and mark that. Even though we're not 100% sure. And we use the diamond key here. I just think it's fun when you have maps that you can write on. More games should do that. say, Jagar Tharn certainly went to a lot of work to hide all these different pieces of the Staff of Chaos. He really doesn't want it to get reformed. Obviously the Staff of Chaos and these eight pieces of it are just a convenient MacGuffin, an excuse to do a bunch of interesting dungeon crawling, but hey, that is just fine by me, because dungeon crawling is what I'm looking for. In addition to just overall world exploration. So here we are now, 
on this other side, presumably right around there, would be where Keenan's door is. Tempting to poke around here a tiny bit. At least fill out the map a little bit more. stand before the halls of Canaan. I wonder if Shalador had any particular relationship to these two men. He referred to one of them as a son, but of course that might not imply that, that they're actually Shalador's sons. Just that they're somebody's sons. They're two men. <laughs> Let's see here. I was wondering if it would share the same map, and sure enough it does. Presumably blocked by walls that can't be destroyed with passwall. Last time it was up in this corner. This time around, I would expect it might be up in this same corner there, or perhaps down here. Depends if he was going for radial symmetry or just normal symmetry. Horizontal symmetry, if you will. Or vertical, I'm not sure which term I should use. <laughs> Depends how you're looking at it. Um, Let's see now. I think I'll just go ahead and go north here for a bit. Oops, got myself blocked by that corner there.
More spiders, of course. My light spell seems to have worn off. Boy, the game really seems to slow down in areas where you're up on this uh, mid to high level and there's platforms nearby. Raised hallways, I mean. Interesting. zombies. Fire blast it is. Got one. Let's burn the other one again. Come on. There we go. Gold pieces on one of those zombies. Not bad. Of course, I have so much gold at this point that getting more might not be that meaningful. I guess I'll stick with the high road for now.
we've gotten stuck in some of this geometry again. Lovely. I should go down and investigate farther north. Oh my, I do believe that's an iron golem. I'll go invisible. A similar room on the other side. Starting to get full, so I might soon drop some of the enchanted items that I can't really use, such as plate helms and long swords. Got a new bracelet. Sword and plate helms. Oh, dagger as well. Take back up that long sword. Find them more interesting as collector's items than the plate homes. Actually, not sure if that's an iron golem or a steel golem, but it's something like that. treasure.
for all mine. How do you guys like the sound of a frost blast? Nice. Another belt of intelligence. This might be it. Huh. Hello. Might you be Canaan? I am the brother Canaan, who holds the secret of life. Not a more cunning riddler, twixt ocean and fife. Answer me this question, O foolish mortal from above or join my eternal task born of duty and love. Two bodies have I, though both joined in one. The more still I stand, the quicker I run. What is thy answer? Now this one's a bit more puzzling for me. Feel free to pause the video, take some time to think about it, or skip ahead if you don't want to see what answers I give. Most of these do tend to have a couple of different acceptable answers. Oh, I think I know it. This is a tricky one, and to be completely honest, I think I actually have heard or read the answer to this once before, somewhere online. So I'm not coming at this completely blind. Uh, but in any case, what do you think the answer might be? 
Could it be an hourglass? It has two bodies, both joined in one. The more still it stands, the quicker the sand runs through it. I am free to fly the wind after an eternity of sickness and sin. As a reward for setting me free, the cell next to this holds your sapphire key. Ah, very nice. Okay. Well, my dear friend Kanan, I'm going to once again do some experimenting here. So trying to simply pick this lock doesn't seem to work, or at least it doesn't work easily. But I can magically open it. Now you are completely free. Go! Be happy. No, don't attack me. Unless you truly want to be freed in this other way. <laughs> okay, I'm kind of stuck here. How's it going, Shade of Keenan? How long have you been in here? Well, all right, if you really want to be laid to rest, brought to peace in this way, here we go. Oh, I was about to cast a fire spell, but Keenan went down without too much of a fight. And thankfully, I still have access to the Sapphire Key. not looking particularly like sapphire there on the ground, but that's fine. Oh, you found a sapphire key. Beautiful. That's more like sapphire. Okay then. This time around, I got things solved a lot more quickly. Shade is right there. Sure enough, it was radial symmetry. <laughs> Opposite corners. Now then, we've already spent a lot of time in here, so I don't want to try to be a completionist and get all the interesting rooms and treasures that might be here. So, I will take a different route back, but I won't try to find everything. I mostly just want to get that second piece of the Staff of Chaos and move on. Despite my immense curiosity about what further mysteries this labyrinthium might hold. Going invisible. So I'm not interested in fighting any zombies or anything else, really. Hello, zombie. Oh, come on. Uh, let's not be difficult. zombies.
not invisible anymore. Can't I climb up here? Hmm. There we go. Not quite. Can I climb? And here we are.
I wonder if some of these walls are such that they cannot be destroyed with a destroy wall spell. But uh, let's find out. No, they can't. Come on now. No more of this silliness. We are near the end. Okay, and here it is. Cain and the Wise holds more to be seen, a key and a riddle and a test in between to get past this portal of feet done by few, search for the brother behind door number two. And so we did. I wonder what it means by a test in between. Perhaps... Uh, if it's just referring to being tested by enemies being in the way, well, both sides certainly had that. So, I'm not sure. You open door with a sapphire key. So here we are. And there might still be a monster here. Some kind of guardian. Here lies the final portal, the doorway to life. What force and strength cannot get through, I with a gentle touch can do, and many in these twisted halls would stand, were I not as a friend at hand? Answer? Okay, this is another challenging one. Force and strength, a gentle touch. Many in these twisted halls would stand were I not as a friend at hand. Hmm. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. After reading those first couple of lines, initially I was thinking maybe water, you know, will be a gentle touch that can get through things that force and strength alone cannot get through. Uh, but that wouldn't really make sense for the last two lines. And I'm thinking the answer to this might be the same as the answer to one of the classic riddles in The Hobbit. Time. Time with a gentle touch can get through many things. Whether that's through the slow working of water or other forces applying to something. And many P 
people and other living things in these twisted halls would perhaps still be standing here were it not for the slow working of time bringing death to them. So I'm going to guess time. Thou hast answered in haste and truly erred. No, I was wrong. Okay, so... I think that might mean... that I'll be facing an enemy. Maybe not. I, I'm not 100% familiar with what happens when you answer incorrectly the various riddles in this game. I think in some cases enemies do get spawned, but in others perhaps not. Perhaps you just have to try again. So if it's not time, what is it? Many in these twisted halls would stand were I not as a friend at hand. I mean, I suppose the word key would make some sense. <laughs> Many in these twisted halls would stand were I not as a friend at hand. I mean, there are these keys that are dangerous in the sense of being attached to riddles and challenges and whatnot, but probably not. Thou art truly worthy of Shalador's prize. The second piece of the Staff of Chaos awaits. <laughs> okay, I honestly was not feeling very confident about that, but hey, that was the answer. So here it is. Oh, um, first we have to strike down a couple of ghosts. Here it is. The next piece of the Staff of Chaos. The second piece of the Staff of Chaos burns brightly with cold fire as it touches the first piece. They meld together perfectly. Lovely. Okay, so we are done here. And once again, I kind of wish I had a recall spell, but oh well. I wonder if all these riddles could be bypassed simply by casting Destroy Wall. If so, to be honest, I'm okay with that. And I think it's kind of cool if the game designers themselves were okay with that as well. What? Did that? Oops. <laughs> Create Wall. I guess I chose the wrong spell. Failure. Okay, so some of these Shalador has protected with magic. Including all these. So yeah, Shalador was not going to tolerate those kinds of shenanigans. Fair enough. Oh, okay. Seems that right-clicking cancels the spell. I had forgotten about that. I'm now thinking of additional ways in which that riddle and its answer key could be interpreted. Um, I guess it could also be interpreted as, you know, many would be standing around <laughs> still searching for a way to find what they're looking for if they did not have 
the key as a friend I had. In any case, a decent enough riddle, and uh, I'm glad I was able to uh, finally come up with the answer without having to look it up. I'm not against that, but uh, it's good to spend some real quality time trying to think of all the potential answers before just looking up what accepted answers there are. And I suppose I can slay one more spider or two before I go. So long, Labyrinthian. So long, Shalador. May your mysteries continue to beguile many mages for many ages to come. The next time we rest, we should get a new vision. I don't think this character has visited Riften yet. So for some reason, we're going to say that, yeah, we, uh, we travel southeast over to Riften. Okay. Riften bids you welcome. We call this our home. Let those who challenge be wary. Indeed. We've arrived at night. We'd best be cautious. We seem to have an inn right here. You enter the Flying Griffin, searching for a clear table at which you can relax on this cool spring night. I would congratulate you on retrieving the second piece of the Staff of Chaos. But dire portents have I seen. The third piece of the Staff lies somewhere in the Elden Grove. Ancient home of the Elves. The Elden Grove is said to be the birthplace of the Sacred First Tree. That which gave life to all the forests on the continent of Tamriel. Its location has been a closely guarded secret. So guarded, in fact, that many believe that even the elves have forgotten its true location. Considering that there are only three provinces that hold any of the elfin people, your search should not be too difficult. Find the elven grove and recover the third piece of the staff. I wish you well on your quest. So I'm pretty sure that Elden Grove that they mentioned will be down in the province of Valenwood, the home of the Bosmer, the Wood Elves. So perhaps we'll just go ahead and head down there after taking a brief tour of Riften. At some point, we should get another message from Jagar Tharn as well, sending some more goons to try to stop us. Very interesting structure here. A crescent-shaped temple. Brotherhood of Seth. So some names used in this game were preserved going forward, and others obviously were not. And that's perfectly fine by me. Different design choices get made as any series continues to evolve. Sadly, there is no Thieves' Guild to join in this game, though they doubtless have a strong presence here in Riften.
chill breeze follows you into the mages guild, drying the slight sheen of sweat from your brow. The interior smells of spices and chemicals. As your eyes adjust to the dim light, you can make out arcane implements and mystical apparatus. You think you feel a strange tingling on your skin. Very interesting layout here. Wizard, may I ask you a few questions? First of all, let's get some items identified. So that was a dagger of lightning. Don't need to identify the long sword. Marks? Mark of Wizard Lock. Okay, so we had a Mark of Fireball and two Marks of Wizard Lock. Crystal of Opening. Bracers of Force Bolts. I need to identify the rest of these. What magic items do you have? Okay. Good day to you, fellow mage. I wish it was possible to interact with more of these items that you can see here. But alas, they are here just for flavor. But hey, flavor is nice too. The variety of different layouts and furniture for different types of buildings and rooms. It adds to the realism of the game world. And that's probably the most important thing, frankly. These may have been reused in Elder Scrolls Online, for all I know. I wonder when we'll get a major Elder Scrolls title that's fully based in Valenwood, or some of these other provinces. That would be very nice. In any case, yes, we'll go ahead and go to Orenthia, here in the north. 19 days. Named after the first king of the Wood Elves, Arenthia is regal in bearing and noble in stature. The city seems quiet and dignified, for her guards are reputed to be honorable warriors, but dangerous foes. Okay, so we're here early in the morning. around. 
You can call me Karagon Forestwood. I am a hunter. I brought fresh wild beasties to the blank. Okay. It is a beautiful spring day outside, and the mood of the clerks in the basic tools store is bright. Perhaps you can get a good deal off of them on a couple of items that interest you. tell of the location of the Elden Grove. The only thing I've heard about Elden Grove came from a traveler from Elden Root. Maybe you should start there. Excellent. That's a good rumor. Let's go ahead and move on. Elden Root. Here we are. You enter Elden Root, Wood Elven City, near the center of Valenwood. The elves here seem friendly, and you are hailed and welcome. You overhear that the city-state's commerce is going well. Red Guard is like a beacon in the cool spring night, full of torchlight, clinking glasses, and the aromas of the kitchen. Let's see if the locals are friendly. Excuse me there, uh, good wood elf. Spirits of the wood, go away. I just like some peace and quiet. You, sir. See if the bartender has any claret left. It's the tastiest wine in Valenwood. Well, he's actually kind of friendly. That's nice. The bartender would know if there's any work to be found in Elden Root. He was soon looking for work. Well, okay. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Excuse me. May I try some of your white wine? You finish the white wine, thankful for a safe haven. And room, please. So here we are, in the lovely city of Elden Root, and we shall begin asking for rumors about the location of the Elden Grove, but we'll save that for next time. For now, please do like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to see more, consider supporting my video production and game development at patreon.com slash the drake, and above all, be excellent to yourself and everyone around you. I will see you next time.